uh, welcome back to the my channel Siddhanath Nishanda. Okay, today uh, we're going to start the webinar or the lecture series on the mission AMUI 2020 RTO along with my friend Professor PV Kengar sir and myself. Also, there is a one academy. Uh, there is a run by the PV Kengar sir and the Sushant Patil sir. The excellent academy. Okay, after end of this uh, seminar or the lecture, we must subscribe this channel also for the thermal domain we subscribe my channel Siddhanath Nishanda because if you see uh, in the last uh, exam is conducted for the RTO in 2017 the domain thermal domain carries 20 marks so it is the very important weightage for this subject so you must subscribe this channel I assure that you get benefit 100% benefit for your career for your futures because you are the true warriors and the world after corona needs visionary people like you. So let's start with our channel thermal engineering domain. Okay, the previous year question paper AMUI means 2017. Okay, the question is the fraction of heat input that is converted into network output is measure of the performance of the heat engine and is called mechanical efficiency, volumetric efficiency, thermal efficiency and fuel ratio. Okay, here fundamental is that if you the hard word heat engine, okay, and the efficiency of the heat engine is always major in the form of thermal efficiency, you must know. Okay, in any heat engine, what is the, if you see is the fundamental de uh, definition of efficiency is the output upon input. Okay, in case of heat engine, we supply in general, suppose we take example of boiler or thermal power plant okay if we supply heat to the boiler and we get output from the turbine so it is a ratio of output upon input and the work output in the form of rotating shaft and what amount of heat we supply to the plant that is thermal efficiency okay is the hint is the heat engine and the always efficiency is measuring thermal efficiency okay and the heat input and that heat input we supply heat input and we get into work output. Okay, you see here the solution I provide thermal efficiency is equal to work net output upon heat supplied Q in. Okay. Hope you understood this simple question. Thermal efficiency. Okay. Now the next question is the A standard assumptions. All the processes that make up the cycle internally. Okay. This is the air standard assumptions. There are four options. Reversible, irreversible, heated and cooled. If you see the answer is the reversible. Okay. Uh, we know the number of students know the different cycles like Carnot, Otto, Diesel, Duel. Everything is no. But they forget that to remember the assumptions. In AMOI exams, if you focus the basic they generally focus on the basics as they are not given in a complex problem or the complex theoretical questions. They focus on the basic. Okay, if you see the process that make the cycle internally reversible is a very important. I have mentioned some assumptions air is continuously circulated in a closed loop because if we go through thoroughly which is cycle is again is again repeated, 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 the same fuel that is the air we consider as idle gas and we use again and again. So the whole the process given always reversible is always viewed as idle gas. All the process that make up the cycle internally reversible. If you see that one line assumption, they make question for their exam. With such type of questions, if we go through these videos, we can uh, get idea about the thermal questions or uh, uh, different uh, question idea behind that papers. Our next question for the steady flow of liquid through a device that involves no work interaction such a nozzle or pipe the work term the work term is a zero. Okay, if you see steady flow of a liquid through a device. Okay, steady flow process uh, they take example of nozzle and pipe. Okay, it is a flow process that is the open system where mass as well energy can transfer across the boundary of the system. And what they mention? 
uh, for liquid device the inverse no work interactions such as nozzle and pipe section the work term is zero okay i i want i again give hint suppose there is nozzle and there is pipe there is no any shaft work if you case uh, we uh, take example of boiler there is also there is no term work for work term is zero because there is no shaft work but in case of turbine there is a shaft work we get mechanical power in the form of rotating shaft such examples for the steady flow for if we say turbine there is must be work but we see nozzle pipe boiler okay there is no any rotating shaft so in that case there is a zero and another is the for the steady flow of liquid through device that involves no work okay is the very important line for the steady flow of liquid through device that involves no work interactions such as the pipe sections the work term is zero we follow the bernoulli's equation also you remember this equation or also i given hint okay now the next question is a cyclic heat engine does 50 kJ of work per cycle if the efficiency of the heat engine is a 75% and find the heat rejected per cycle okay now before going solving to the problem i have first discuss what is heat engine in symbolic form if you see the heat engine if you take example of boiler thermal power plant is the best example of heat engine okay in boiler in thermal power plant we supplying heat to the furnace the what amount of heat we add to the furnace or boiler if you and i we get work done from the turbine and what amount of heat is rejected to the condenser the in the low temperature zone okay now output is nothing but actually in case of practically idle if cycle is idle what we said that what amount of heat we supplied sir is converted into 100% work but is practically not possible the amount of heat is lost the number of reasons the okay, amount of heat is lost so output is that what amount of heat added or supplied minus what amount of heat rejected if we take subtraction of heat supply minus heat rejected we get total work output okay now we see the fundamental formula of efficiency in first question we cover work output output upon heat supply okay the efficiency is given 0.75 that 75% work is given and we find from this equation what amount of heat supplied okay but they ask what amount of heat rejected we know i explain that work done is nothing but what amount of heat added minus what amount of heat supplied qa minus qr that is q1 minus q2 they ask q2 here what amount of heat is rejected okay now work done is there we can find out the q1 here and we can easily get q2 and the answer is around 16.66 kJ and there is the we refer prefer this all the options we nearby 16 kJ is the very simple question fundamental questions we just remember this cycle okay now next question the volume flow rate at the outlet of an air compressor is dash dash that at the inlet even though the mass flow rate of air through compressor is constant the options are much less than much greater than equal to and known of this if we read the question carefully i repeat the question purposefully then you can understood actual question is that what they want to say the volume flow rate at the outlet of air compressor okay they ask what is the flow rate of flow rate at the outlet of compressor and dash dash that is the inlet as compared to inlet volume flow rate outlet okay the answer is the steady flow device may be different the volume flow rate of the outlet of an air compressor much less than that of the inlet even the mass flow rate of the air through the compressor is constant we know the Uh, law of conservation of energy or the mass mass at inlet is equal to mass at outlet okay but is the compare with the volume is much less than as compared to the outlet is very important in terms of volume is differ but in case of mass is the same so the answer is much less than
okay now the next question on again air power cycle the reverse carnot cycle comprises okay two isentropic process and two adiabatic two isentropic and two isothermal two isentropic and two constant pressure two isentropic and two constant volume the number of students always confused in this cycle and the fix if you refer the all the question papers there is a hundred percent the one or two questions on this air standard cycles okay don't worry i am making one hint in next slide we can uh, i will explain the hint okay we know that all the process consists of two isentropic process always remember okay we know that carnot and the why carnot cycle is hypothetical because of their cycle heat addition reduction takes place at constant temperature so we see here where is the temperature process uh, there is the two isothermal process so the answer is second two isentropic and two isothermal process okay i have make a, uh, make here one hint okay the student always ask sir uh, there is any hint then told that so i am prepared purpose for that hint i uh, sequentially mention the cycles development first is the carnot then atto diesel duel atkinson joule or breton and erickson cycle erickson cycles differ as compared to other cycles so i make one dashed line separate that erickson cycle as compared to above but just you focus on the carnot atto diesel duel atkinson joule okay don't miss this sequence okay i mentioned addition of heat rejection of heat and the remaining two process always consist of compression and expansion okay now for carnot addition reaction takes place at tt auto addition reaction takes place at constant volume diesel addition of heat takes place at constant pressure and rejection at constant volume in dual why the word dual itself gives the idea addition of heat partially takes place at constant volume and partially takes place at constant pressure okay and the rejection takes place at constant volume for atkinson addition of heat at constant volume and rejection at constant pressure for joule addition at constant pressure and rejection at constant pressure and the, all the remaining two process are isentropic compression okay now where is the hint now i just remember i uh, purposefully i summarize the all the process in within a single chart you first remember or mark this table okay now how to prepare this table the hint is now here i mentioned the word like a carnot atto first is the diesel then duel atkinson and the joule cycle okay i purposefully this first column for the addition qa i have written that now i told in marathi or hindi tv p or tvp vp vp okay t vp 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 okay we have to write the word vp 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 okay uh, first vp is the single single then second vp is in we write in a bracket okay and then final vp okay here are the addition process if you see for carnot this is the row of addition process carnot cycle addition of is the t for auto v for diesel p in case of dual is the dual so partially at v and p so t vp 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 we just remember t vp the middle of vp written bracket what is indicates for dual and final is vp and for rejection of heat we just remember this formula t v cube p square t v cube p square so write down first t then three times v and two times p okay if we take example of carnot addition rejection of heat of takes place at constant temperature if you case of auto addition at constant volume and rejection takes place at constant volume in case of dual addition of it partial at constant volume partial at constant pressure and rejection takes place at constant volume if we compare this chart so these are the very important i have cover all the cycles summarize the cycles we again go through this video again and again they can easily be understood okay now see move further okay in the steam power plant the pump handles liquid which is a very small specific volume and the turbine handles vapor whose volume is many times larger okay therefore work output of turbine is dash 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 the work input to pump okay we are going to compare there is a work output of the pump and the 
turbine okay the reason is that we see here in steam power plant the pump handles liquid which has a very small specific volume and the turbine handles vapor whose specific volume is many times the larger therefore the work output of the turbine is much larger than the work input of the pump okay so it is very important this is one of these reasons for the or Helming probability of the steam power plant in electric power generation, and so the answer is many times larger. Work output of the turbine is many times must be larger than that of the pump. This is the very important. Okay, then the isentropic efficiency of compressor is defined as the ratio of Isentropic compressor work two. Okay, we have to just remember the different types of efficiencies are there. They are only mentioned in isentropic efficiency. I also cover the uh, remaining efficiencies also for the sake of your uh, knowledge or for the additional efficiency. Maybe then next exam they can change this efficiency formula. Okay, for that uh, isentropic efficiency. Okay, if we see the answer, the isentropic efficiency of compressor defined as the ratio of work input related to the the raise the pressure of the gas to specified value. Okay, so the answer is in an isentropic manner to the actual work input. So to the actual compressor work, the isentropic efficiency, isentropic compression work to the actual compressor work. So for the isentropic efficiency, the ratio of isentropic work to the actual compressor work. We are going to compare just simply here. Efficiency is nothing but it is the output of an input. Okay, we are going to compare this uh, efficiency, the maximum efficiency. Uh, assume that is the isentropic compressor work to the actual compressor work. We are different. Uh, another efficiency of a compressor purposefully added mechanical efficiency. Okay, mechanical efficiency indicated power upon brake power. It is the ratio of indicated power to the brake power. That is the mechanical efficiency. The power required to drive the compressor is called the brake power. And separately, I draw the formula for the uh, brake power is nothing but two pi nt upon sixty thousand kilowatt. So just we remember mechanical efficiency IP upon BP indicated power upon brake power. Isothermal efficiency. Isothermal work or work input to the actual work input. Same for isentropic. I mentioned that isentropic work to the actual work input. Okay, if you say polytropic efficiency, polytropic work input to the actual work input. Remember such way we can remember uh, such way that we can don't confuse in the efficiencies. Now the volumetric efficiency. Okay, volumetric is the ratio of effective shift volume. To the swept value. I'm not giving detail here. We just uh, remember these formulas for the reciprocating compressor. I mentioned one animation is there. Uh, what is the actual reciprocating compressor? Value efficiency is equal to effective swept volume to the swept value. Okay. The next, the change of entropy of a closed system. Okay, the change of entropy closed system operating between two specified end state is the same for every process. At the entropy of is the very important line. As the entropy change of a system is a point function, and it doesn't depend on the path followed by the system to reach the final state from the initial state. Entropy is a point function. You always remember heat and work are path function. Entropy, temperature, pressure, volume are the point function. Only the path function is heat and work, and we must know the point function. So the entropy change is zero. Now you see there, the change of entropy of a closed system is the same for every process between two specified state. Which path we followed doesn't matter. The final entropy whole the process is the same. Every process is must be remembered. Entropy is a point function. Okay, for example, uh, I have given one example. There is a destination is our college. Okay, and we will uh, release or you leave from the home. Okay, there are three students. They follow. One is the bicycle. One is follow bus. 
ओके वन इज फॉलो इज बाइक ओके द फाइनल कंडीशन इज टू हैव टू अचीव कॉलेज वी फॉलो डिफरेंट पाथ डिफरेंट मेथड्स बट द टोटल चेंज इट डजेंट मैटर इट डजेंट चेंज सो द एंट्रॉपी इज द पॉइंट फंक्शन ओके okay the last question you just remember this percentage ranking cycle efficiency of a good steam power plant may be in the range of so just to remember this for the ranking cycle the efficiency is around 30 to 45% okay because if we see here the 70 80 and the 90 95 efficiencies are highly impossible this is only uh, possible for if we cycle is carnot efficiency and the 10 to 15% efficiency is uh, highly impossible there is no use of that power plant so just you use your logic here simply steam is the most common working fluid used in vapor power cycle because of availability low cost high enthalpy of vaporization so the answer is all of above the ratio of brake power output to the fuel energy input Per unit time is called thermal efficiency. Okay, I have mentioned all the efficiencies here, so we can get answer. You can understood easily. If you see the mechanical efficiency, brake power of an indicator power, I mentioned early. Thermal efficiency is the brake power to the. If you see here, the ratio of brake power output to the fuel energy input per unit time. Okay, what amount of fuel energy we supplied? And we have to calculate the energy supplied, mass of fuel into multiplied by calorific value. That is the thermal efficiency. It's simply again nothing but output upon input. In case of heat engine, we see brake power nothing but what amount of hour available the turbine shaft. Okay, what are the actual power available at the turbine shaft? That is the brake power. And how you get this power because of what amount of heat supplied to the boiler. So what amount of energy we supplied in the boiler? Nothing but we supplying fuel. we may be coal coal burn as coal ball or maybe bagas oil fired okay then how to calculate the uh, uh, input value of that heat input value just you multiply mass of fuel into that calorific value okay the calorific value is differ for differ uh, fluid fuel maybe carbon is differ for carbon for oil wood bagas simply thermal efficiency okay now i again repeat so that you also know that uh, for internally reversible process isentropic compression isentropic expansion is there for every a standard cycle if you see uh, in the last 2017 if you students are luckily prefer the all air power standard cycles they can easily get the three to four questions on the same concept or the same point isentropic compression isentropic expansion doesn't matter now we focus constant value heat addition And the constant volume, heat rejection. I again, back to this uh, hint, so we can get. Where addition of heat and the ratio of heat takes place constant volume, volume. Okay, where is the constant volume, volume process? Addition and rejection. So it is the O means second process that is Carnot Otto. Okay, the answer is for that question is. auto cycle just we just memorize that hint finish with a very simple calculation here okay an artificial satellite revolves around the earth with the relative velocity v is there if the acceleration due to gravity is there and gravitational force is there 3600 newton then mass of satellite is Just we use fundamental formula in Newton second law F is equal to mass into acceleration. Force is given. Okay, they ask the mass satellite mass m. You have to go into find out acceleration is given. Okay, just simply fundamental formula to use F is equal to m. They are the fundamental questions. Four hundred kg correct. Okay, now it is impossible for any device. that operates on a cycle to receive heat from the single reservoir and produce net amount of work 
This is the second law of thermodynamics statement expressed by, and the answer is a Kelvin Planck. Okay, what is the statement of the Kelvin Planck? It is impossible for any device that operates on a cycle to receive heat from a single reservoir and produce a net amount of work. Okay, now the Kelvin Planck statement is that it is impossible to construct a heat engine working on a cyclic process whose sole effect is to convert all the heat. Supply to it into the equal amount of work. Okay, so Kelvin stated that it is highly impossible. We make an engine in such a way that there is no heat rejection, there is no any loss. What amount of it we supplied a hundred percent convert into work? So it is a highly impossible cycle, and that is the Kelvin Planck statement. So according to that, is the according to Kelvin is highly impossible. We can't produce such engine which working in a single reservoir. We need always two reservoir. That is the source, and another is the sink. That is what amount of heat we uh, add, and what amount of heat we rejected. That is the sink. What amount of heat we taken from uh, that reservoir is called as a source, and what amount of heat is rejected to the reservoir is called as a sink. Every system, all the whole world thermal, all thermal systems or any systems always work between the two reservoir. That is source and sink. Is highly impossible to within work in a single reservoir. That is the Kelvin Planck statement. And another statement for the second law of thermodynamics we know must be Clausius statement. Clausius statement told that heat is always flows from higher to the lower body temperature naturally, but it is highly impossible to flow naturally. That is low to high is highly impossible. Is possible only when if we add some work, then then possible heat is flows from low temperature to the high temperature. Otherwise, is highly impossible. So, for you to carrying the heat from low to high, we need some external agency. These are the very two important statements. That is Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement. Okay. Now, the next question is the in receiving engine, the ratio of volume at bottom dead center to the volume at top dead center is called a compression ratio. Is the fundamental question of the terminology of IC engine. Or receiving engine, no problem. Ratio of volume at bottom dead center to the volume at top dead center. If you see the uh, piston cylinder arrangement, there are two center, top dead center and bottom dead center. Okay, when piston reaches at bottom side, that is the piston reaches at BDC, and when piston reaches at top side, that is the piston reaches at TDC. When piston reaches at BDC, okay, what what it indicates when piston moves from uh, top to bottom. We are going to suck the air or suck the charge, and that charge going to compress up to when piston reaches at TDC, and that ratio is called is nothing but simply compression ratio. The thermal efficiency of closed cycle gas turbine is gas turbine plant is increased by. Okay, there is the reheating method is there, intercooling method is there, regenerator is there. So the answer is all of the above. You just remember the efficiency of closed cycle gas turbine is the increased by reheating, intercooling, and the regenerator. This is the question on the gas power plant. Okay, all the questions. If you go through the all the videos have uploaded by the channel Siddhanath Nishandar, you must go through the only third part of that videos and note down. We clear all the concepts very thoroughly. So it is very very important to subscribe this channel. Okay, now, which of the following is not positive displacement compressor? Not positive displacement compressor. The answer is centrifugal compressor. Okay. So now uh, we just focus. There is the two types of compressor: positive displacement and non-positive displacement compressor. They are always confusing because of uh, student forget that which is the positive or non-positive. We just remember is the one chart I have provided here. Compressor type positive and the non-positive is the dynamic. So just we remember this compressor that is a reciprocating and rotary compressor generally. The single acting, double acting, diaphragm type. We forget that. Just we focus reciprocating and rotary. And under rotary, lob, screw compressor, vane compressor. This under all the positive displacement compressor. And under dynamic only two. That is a centrifugal and axial. That's Which of the following is not positive displacement compressor? That is the centrifugal compressor. 
Okay. Now the Girard law of thermodynamics defines internal energy, enthalpy, temperature, and pressure. We know that the Girard law stands for the zero law. It stands for the temperature only. We know that if two bodies are mutually equilibrium with each other, they must be equilibrium with the third body also. Okay. A is a equithermal equilibrium with the B, and A is a thermal equilibrium with the C. Then we must know the B and C also thermal equilibrium with the each other. If two systems are in the thermal equilibrium. With the third system, they are also in thermal equilibrium with the each other. Okay. The next question is the work input of the air compressor is minimum if compression law follows. Okay. You have to must know isentropic process. P V is to gamma is equal to C for isothermal. P V is equal to C for polytropic. They are the P V is to one. Okay. All are the polytropic process. P V is to one point two or maybe P V is to one point three point five. The three and four the polytropic process. They purposefully divide this three and four option for the same process. If we see this diagram, PV diagram, one to P one to one is a suction, and one to two or one to two dash or one to two is a compression, and after this is a delivery. We know the working of the reciprocating compressor. Now tell that tell me the area under PV diagram what it indicates what amount of work required. Okay. Now tell me which process carries less work. Okay, if you see the diagram, the less area required for the process one to two dash is required less area. Okay, and the maximum area, the maximum work is required for one to two double dash. That is the adiabatic process, and the less work carries the isothermal process. And the moderate work is the polytropic. And they what they ask the work input to the air compressor minimum. Minimum is what for process isothermal. So the answer is. Isothermal process. Okay, for this uh, questions we prefer number of different books. P K Nag, maybe R K Rajput, Fundamentals of Engineering Thermodynamics by the Radha Krishnan. Okay, you have prefer these books, different books. We also prefer different books. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we must subscribe this our channel, Accelerate Academy, Siddhanath Nishanta for the thermal domain. Hopes uh, we enjoy or uh, learn all the concepts I have mentioned here. Okay, for the thermal domain, expand your knowledge horizon in a joyful and effortless way. Please subscribe this channel, Siddhanath Nishanda. Thank you.